Oh my god, I quit my full time job for this. New year, <laughs> new video coming at you. Live from my kitchen looking cute. Ah! 2020 was the year that I quit my job. And happy new year to you too. <laughs> I feel like I've already passed the threshold of saying Happy New Year to people. I think the cutoff time is usually in three weeks of the new year, if not four. Yes, in uh, November of 2020, I decided to quit my full-time job as a radio presenter on Capital FM to focus on being a CEO. I know you're just like, oh girl, a gully is moving. Yes, sis, a girly is moving. Yes, I am a CEO now. I had to wear the big girl panties. I was semi-wearing them and thinking I was a shit, but I wasn't. I quit my job to focus on being a CEO to an amazing brand. You guys know the brand. <laughs> if you don't know the brand, you're about to do it today. <laughs> Miss Mandy Throwdown. It's been needing for me to step into the greatness and here I've been chilling, relaxing. Drinking wine from time to time, celebrating, doing everything, hmm? but just not wearing the big girl panties and doing the work. So we want to focus on that in 2021. And right after I quit my job, I went to Malindi to decompress, to eat pizza, to be loved on, but most importantly, to really get clarity on what it is that I want to do in 2021. So I went to Malindi. Another trip down to the ocean is always a good vibe for me. I'm so excited that we are in Malindi. We're at Kobe Suits. Uh, we're gonna be staying here. We're about to go to find lunch. about your burger it's so good oh my god it's so good I can take another bite On the other hand, I ordered for prawns and calamari, crispy fried. Mm. I'm a seafood kind of gale, love it. Oh my god, so good. Okay, so it's dinner time. I'm having the prawn and avocado burger. I want to say it kind of looks underwhelming, but it's fine. Say what up. I'm having it with fries. What are you having? Kobe burger. You had it for lunch. You're having it again. It's that good. You can have it twice. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so let's dig in. I hope this is spicy and good. The basil, the rocket, the avocado. I would recreate this at home. I'm starting with some fresh fruit in the morning. I really prefer it, especially watermelon. Great for hydrating after the kind of lit night we had. And 
honestly, adding some lemon onto your fresh fruit tastes so good. It's such a Costarian thing we do. Should I hear last night? 10 out of 10. Would recommend. As much as it's not on, on this vlog. 10 out of 10. Data, data guy who has a good playlist. <laughs> That's what it is. Wow, you have nothing to say. <laughs> I have so much to say. What? This is good. I'm sure. I fell asleep. <laughs> Do not bring that in here. I fell asleep. Okay, halfway through his DJ set. But let me explain. Did you come to an Android? Like any, I'm just trying to watch your show. Lala, Shori, Ali, Lala. Vibes in Shika. this darling thing but a thing is a darling i'm a darling thing a real darling toronto thing yo this place is giving me phuket vibes like i don't know if you guys remember seeing this in my phuket vlogs but all of this to little things in the ocean are giving me phuket vibes so cute too so the bottom is our side tables <laughs> Oh. In the meantime, between time, as we are getting a side table, do you know what I've come to realize? I really love translating Swahili to other people um, because I know a lot of people on my channel are from the diaspora. So I know how you can live abroad for a while and then forget like Swahili or even certain things about Swahili. So. I never talk about how much of my like Kusturian accent gets activated when I come to the coast. <laughs> it's actually insane. I'm usually like, ah ah, wait wait, ah ah, yamani, usitubwagi basi, and that's me. Shout out to my parents for consistently saying I have to speak Swahili sanifu. That they correct you even when you say kujapa. They're like, no no no, in Swahili shabara, and you're like, or.
Frontier. Yes. Being activated. The food, 10 out of 10. This place reminds me of Mauritius. If you guys haven't seen my Mauritius vlog, it's popping up. I think one of these sides. You guys need to check it out because this setup feels exactly the same down to even the chairs. They just don't have the rum. <laughs> people are wondering why did you quit capital you were working at a radio station you had a full-time job I just quit because everything has its season I feel like I was outgrowing um, the season of wanting to be on radio and I really love the capital family I am thankful for all the opportunities all of the risk-taking they took with me so I just felt it was time for me to pour into myself and work on MMTD and step into the big girl panties on running a company and it's gonna require so much from me and running MMTD is going to require for me to manage people and I've gone ahead to hire like a, a small team where I'm starting to make things happen um, because I started to realize like I was drowning you know that's why I went to Malindi I wanted to figure out how am I drowning and I was drowning because I was doing so many things I am looking forward to seeing how my company is going to be able to to uplift other people because when you run a company um, it requires a lot of leadership skills and it requires you to make sure you're looking out for other people's livelihoods because these people depend on you capital fm was a really great stepping stone um, for my career and i just think it's important for a lot of my radio fans who i have been on air with to transition with me into this business world that i'm really getting into and i'm going to be getting heavily into and your support is going to be very important to me i have gone through all of the stages of like nervousness i feel like vomiting am i really doing this oh my god i'm doing this oh my god i quit my full-time job for this oh my god sis sis what are you doing i have gone through all these stages i still am going through them right now but i am excited to build something of my own there's a lot of work ahead of me i am nervous please come on this journey with me please please come on this journey with me uh, please support my work for any single person who quit their job in 2020 to pursue their dreams This is to us. I, I was destined for this and I'm excited. Do you guys like, like the new cut? <laughs> I'm officially a baldy. It never expected it <laughs> I didn't have anything deep around me shaving my hair. I was just like, I'm just gonna do it but if you guys want to attach the if anybody wants to attach the fact that a woman who shaves her hair is about to change her life well yes it's it's going to happen because i've become a fully fledged business owner i'm looking forward to you guys commentary feedback and everything to all the things that are about to happen to the business but in the meantime between time um if you are a small business owner and you are just about to embark on this journey or you have just started selling on the internet now when I joke on a digital tax, yes, Carrie, mm -hmm. have introduced digital tax on products that we sell on the internet. If you are having a hard time like selling your products, if there's one thing that I, I will share that I have integrated into my business is iSoko. Um, they are basically the ones who power my site and I am 
able to sell my products, integrate my Mpesa. It's pretty much an easy template for a small business owner who doesn't want to build their site from scratch. Isoko has built a template for somebody like me and somebody who owns a small business. So if you have an IG boutique, if you want to sell your ebooks or anything like that, the good thing is you can use Isoko and you can go ahead and um, choose the bundle that works for you. The good thing is all of their bundle options and the details what bundle options they have are available on their site you can check them out um, in the description box below but, and also the thing is they have great 24 7 support i've been using isoko more or less ever since like i want to say from like august so last year and i'm not here to sell you hype i'm just here to get to put you guys on to i mean i've already told you i've gotten a team i've gone ahead to ensure that my team is executing with a great <laughs> site uh, from the back end. As a business owner, I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys tips and things that I've learned along the way or I'm learning along the way that could possibly help your business. Hence why I've put you on to Isoko. Again, check them out in my description box below. Until my next video, I, I hope it won't be as dramatic as me telling you guys that I've quit my job in the middle of a pandemic. Agali quit her job to focus on her dreams. <laughs> um, until my next video, please leave a comment below and let me know if you've taken any risks during this pandemic. I would love to hear from you and interact with you. Until my next video though, 